What were you doing to the body, Ferdinand? Are you sure you won't be upset? Try me, Ferdinand. I was kissing her. You horny, nasty, disgusting piece of human. Yo, I have about almost 30 hats, right? Ever since I got dreads, I can't fit them no more. So you know what? I'm gonna make them fit, bro. I spent all this goddamn money on these hats back, in, back when I was rocking the straight hair, my natural hair. Now I got dreads and I can't fit none of my hats, but I'm finna make them fit. I refuse to give them all away. These are some fire ass hats. This is one of them. Anyway, welcome to a new LA Nord video. We're gonna try. I'm gonna try my best to maybe at least get near the ending this week. Today is, I believe, Tuesday, the 20th of June. So maybe, hopefully, by the end of week, end of the week, we get somewhat close to the end. Cause I want to hurry up with this game. It's a little bit taking a little bit too long. Not gonna lie. Rockstar, you make great games, but this one's a little long, all right? So we, so, so I'm trying to speed this up a little bit because I got some other stuff I want to play. But like always, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and all the good stuff, and let's dive on in. <clears throat> the Studio Secretary Murderer. What are we working with this time? Look how close she is, man. Okay. Look at the oh, okay. This is the first time we've seen somewhat of a face. This is the first time we've seen somewhat of a face. Of course, we will look into it. Yes, I'm aware that it's an election year. Keep a hold of your hat, Counselor. Now is not the time to lose your nerve. I gotta change my suit. I haven't changed my suit in like what two, three episodes. It would episodes? appear that someone has hawked a rose suit gold musty as hell. matching engagement ring. Sound familiar? Deirdre Muller. Press the pawnbroker and see what you can find out. The address is 348 South Main Street. The Muller case goes before the grand jury next week, and the DA does not want any egg on his face. Then get out to the railroad depot on Santa Fe Avenue. We have another poor unfortunate found this morning beside a railroad line. 40 year old white woman. Right, Skipper. I just want to point out not one black person died. We're making progress. It's like, no. <laughs> Outfit. Change. Now. Give me the options. Why can't I change my outfit? Her body. And Deirdre Muller's ring. The Emperor may soon have it. to come to terms with the fact that he's wearing no clothes. When exactly did you get that book of riddles shoved up your ass, Phelps? Is that what your old man paid college tuition for? Thank you. Jesus, okay. See what we get, see what we got, see what we got, see what we got. Um, I like this blue one. This blue one look kind of cool. Hey, you can never I go wrong with a good, path. solid blue good suit, and this and is it, for walk. real. Nice and pressed. I like it. Where my partner at before you get left behind. So we got two unfortunate deaths. We got one by the railroad, one by pawnbroker. Globe loan and jewelry source of evidence tip off. Did you just cut me off? You've got to admit, this is looking odd. Yeah, anyone could pawn a ring. But if you take it along with all of the other indicators. Cole, Hugo Moeller was identified by the school's groundkeeper. He's our guy. Witnesses have fingered the wrong guy before. He ran, for God's sake. And he always maintained he was set up. Money to loan on everything. We buy, sell, and trade. Reminds me of that, uh, that company. Cash for gold. I remember seeing that commercial everywhere on my TV, bro. I was so tempted to like trade in my uh I was so tempted to trade in my gold for some cash because I don't know. It it just seemed legit. I'm like, I don't I mean I wouldn't mind selling some like some old necklaces I don't usually wear. Detective Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. You have a rose gold wedding and engagement ring? David Bremner. Am I gonna get something for this pledge? 
Gave that bum money. Now you guys are going to leave me short. How much did you give him? 50 bucks. Try another number. 20? Try 10. Feel lucky you're getting it. I have the rings right here. Wait, is this a death or is this a different case? Like, not a murder case. I know the Rarewood one is a murder case. What's this mark here? Baker's mark. Usually traceable. That one came from Hartfield's Jewelry down on Broadway. Okay. Thanks for the tip. And what about that one? Does this mark mean anything? Hallmark. Gives you an idea of the quality. Okay. What have you got on the guy who brought these in? Goes by the name of Percy B. Shelley. Gave an address. 15 Poland Street, London, Tulare County. Can you give us a description of the man who pawned these rings? Not sure. Medium height, medium build, dark hair, I think. Sorry. He just had one of those forgettable faces. We'll be How in touch, long ago Mr. was Bremner. this? Was this like a week ago, two weeks ago? This is a nice car. What is this, brown? Like a dark chocolate. We have a problem. We could have the local troopers check out the Tulare County address. The address is bogus. The perp is having fun with us. Mm. The guy who's been sending the Dahlia letters is also the guy who pawned these rings. How do you figure that? Mm. Percy Bysshe Shelley wrote the poem that came with the Dahlia letter. If the Dahlia letters are genuine, then the man who killed Elizabeth Short may have also killed Deirdre Muller. And how do we prove that? No. Skipper ain't gonna like this one bit. We're gonna have to rely on this guy tripping up on his own vanity. All units in the vicinity in any century unit. A 211 and shots fired. 410 South Flower Street. Unit that can handle code 3. Identify. <clears throat> you boys ready? Follow me. We should keep this development with the rings under our hat until we speak with the captain. We're all on the same okay. team, Rusty. Chain of command, Phelps. The skipper will decide who needs to know. Got it? I get it, Rusty. All right. Railroad, 11.16 a.m. Oh. Heart. She's closed. Yeah. I look after all the rail depots. What have you got? The Negro, Nelson Gaines, called it in. I came down here to make sure him and the other guy. Did you Jameson have to say that? Around. Jameson found the body. Something I, 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 like I, I, that. I keep forgetting these Guy are like sick. those we'll times. Keep an eye on both of them. The Negro, like, okay. It's the witness. Let Detective Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Can you tell me exactly what happened? We were shunting cars over to the main line when I saw this man here lying on top of this woman. The woman wasn't moving and seemed to be in a bad way. What time was this? About 7.30 this morning, sir. Thanks for your help. Have you given Patrolman Hart your details? I have, sir. Thank you. You can go now. What man? Oh, this man. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me look at everything. Let me look at everything. I got this gadget whiz guy putting recording devices. Laying on top of her? Are you kidding me? Beautiful day. Okay, we got a handbag. Okay, a lot of words here. Uh, 2122 St. David Street, 11 Bridget, Connecticut. Dear Evelyn, I hope that, I hope that, I, oh my God, Courtney, read. I hope that this letter finds you in a better way than when you, than when we last parted. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm struggling today. B uh, bitter words. A uh, word exchange. You had taken too much liquor, and we both know what that makes you become. But I am not. But I am not writing home. to harass and accuse. I am writing to apologize. I was heartbroken seeing what had become of my little girl and what it, she is doing to herself. You are destroying your body and your soul with liquor, Evelyn, and it's 
and it is harder for me to watch than you can imagine. But only God Almighty above us has the right to judge. And so I beg you, beg beg your forgiveness. I've been in contact with a sanitarium here in Connecticut on your behalf. They say your condition is an illness, Evelyn, and that it can be treated. You you only need to check yourself in. I will not can you flip this over? Or is it ripped? It's ripped. Okay, it's ripped. So Evelyn has a what dr drinking problem? We could go the over Keystone to the lot and see what they company. know about her. That's gonna be difficult, hey. Cole. Keystone Why? Studio lot closed back in forty one. Mm. Oh. Okay. All right. What is that to the left? It's always a bar. We always end up going to a bar. Everybody here is a smoker. Maybe someone at Mensch's will remember her. Mention's bar, corner ninth hey, and main. Hey, hand? I got a hard case I need to break. This is a chick Trace for personal address items, of not booze. Levin's liquor. It's not even worth investigating. Two large suitcase, small suitcase, bedroll, pillow, plain bed sheet. Three. I can't even read this handwriting. This handwriting is is just atrocious, man. Like a grocery list. All right, let me talk to the man. You nasty. Detective Phelps, LAPD homicide. John Ferdinand Jameson. We need you to answer some questions, John. If you don't mind, I prefer Ferdinand. Don't push your luck, knucklehead. What were you doing to the body, Ferdinand? Are you sure you won't be upset? Try me, Ferdinand. I was kissing her. It's not against the law. Shut up. There's no Take law your against it. Like a man. What the Turn hell? Out your pockets, Ferdinand. You horny, nasty, disgusting piece of human. She, did he know? I mean, he had to have no. It was it was dead, bro. Oh my goodness. I was kissing her. Is this yours, Ferdinand? No. I found it near her purse. I thought she could use some lipstick. Rusty, stop. Don't hit him. The Rusty had enough. <laughs> uh, okay, so John Ferdinand Jameson. Uh, here comes Black. Description, Pacific Electric Rail, Rail Yard employee, potential suspicious witness, interfere with evidence, discovery of victim's body. You found the body? Yes, I did. I work here. I was coming off shift and headed home. He's coming off shift and then heading home. I don't know. Why didn't you that. report the body, Jameson? Do you know how this right? is going to look to a jury? A jury? What gives? I, I can tell that she was dead. I came through you here about tell? midnight last night. She wasn't here then. Let me belt him again. Calm down, calm down, bro. Calm down. He knew she was dead, but yet proceeded to put his nasty lips on her. That's, you, uh, that's, went that's through her disrespectful. Purse? It wasn't like she needed it. Took a look. Oh, you need help. Look at him posing. Like, like he really did that. Or said that. He looks confident. Did you take any money? Wasn't any to take. I found her lipstick and her matchbook over on the mat. Not much else. You're under arrest, Jameson. We'll see how yeah. this plays out. Until then, you can think a little on how you'd like to be treated if you were found dead. I'm telling you, right? it's not illegal. Me and some friends of mine... Oh, this is a Clyde, normal thing. Can you get this sack of shit into a cell? I'll deal with him later. Sure, Rusty. Oh, this is a fetish of his. Oh, this is nasty. No That's trouble. nasty. I don't like that. Look at this body. Ring Another missing gone. ring. That Certainly could be one like of the ring dogs found at the, uh, at the jewelry uh, pawn shop. The cash for gold, please. No, no, look at her face, man. The 
smell? Very good. There is the usual evacuation smell. But it appears she's been living rough for quite some time. Very strong smell of alcohol. Well, the autopsy Does will tell, but drunk? I would assume that she was inebriated. Can you be more exact any... about the time of death? No later than 2 a.m. The state the body was in, a one or two hour window is the best I can do. I don't see any, like, rope marks on her neck, so maybe she wasn't sh uh, strangled. I mean, she obviously was beat to death. We saw that. I don't know. I don't know what to think of these cases anymore. I'm going crazy. I'm paranoid. <clears throat> Phelps badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? How can I help, Detective? I need an address on Levine's Liquor, closest store to the Santa Fe Avenue rail yard, if possible. Just a moment, Detective. Closest door would be the one at 939 South Hope Street. Thanks for your help. Damn. Gotta call in a person to get an address. Nowadays, we have Siri. We have Google Maps. We have Wi-Fi. Yeah. Yeah, I read about that. These people are starving. They can't do that. They want to sell the food to fund the civil war against the communists. What the hell? Really? I guess that's okay, then. Armies can't fight without food. You spend all your money on weapons, but you still have to have the will to fight. Fortunately, the Reds will win in China. Watch your mouth. You know what you're saying? The people of this country overthrew a king. You think the Chinese will balk at an emperor if they are starving? Benches Bar, 12.01 p.m. Drink, fellas. Phelps, Galloway, homicide. We need to ask you some questions concerning Evelyn Summers. I'm Walter Mensch. Evelyn Summers, what is it now? You knew Evelyn? As well as I wanted to know Evelyn. She had a pain in the ass, always coming in here, cadging drinks, never had any money. She was in just a couple of nights ago. Did she ever tell you where she was staying? I don't know. I think she was living rough. She had that kind of stunk about her. Who did she drink with? Uh, a bunch of these guys. Ask around. Oh, wow, she gets around. What's your name? Grosvenor McCaffrey. Mind if I ask you some questions, Mr. McCaffrey? I'm just a starving writer, detective. What do you want to ask about? Evelyn Summers. Oh. And why she was found beaten and strangled in the rail depot on Santa He's Fe. He's already suspicious, bro. Okay. I see your point. His voice How is well just evil. How well did you know her? I can't say that I knew her. It was more like I was aware of her. What does that mean? Look at this picture, bro. Did you see Evelyn <sighs> last night? No. I was at home. Writing. Oh, really? I don't believe you that. You want to get dragged into this, McCaffrey? Do you want us to get interested in you? She hung out with this powder puff, James Tiernan. They haunted the public library together. How well do you know James Tiernan? I know he works some kind of plebeian job at Rawlings Bowling Alley. Ooh, bowling. Rawlings. I love bowling. I know that place. Corner of 9th and Graham. A lot of cops bowl there on Tuesday night. You're one of them? Do you have a criminal record, Mr. McCaffrey? Nothing serious. I've had a few skirmishes. 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 I had a few skirmishes. But nothing reprehensible. No. The odd parking ticket. That kind of thing. Oh, really? Thank you for the information, I got that Mr. Wrong. McCaffrey. Is that... Is that everyone? Hold on now. You the only one in here. This ball kind of small. You a I friend of Evelyn guy? Summers? Who's asking? Yep. Very cute. You know who's asking. I know my rights. I you don't oh have it. God. Answer the question. Evelyn mooches for drinks. I don't have any time for that. Was that so hard? Keep writing me, copper. Or what? What you gonna do? Hit me, bro? You gonna hit me with, with them white uh, cookout pants? All 
All right, let's go to the bowling alley. Rollins bowling alley, 12, 10 p.m. I am a great bowler, you guys. I was MVP in high school, bro. That's how good I was. Hell yeah. Hello, Rusty. Two on your usual lane? I'm Detective Gosh, Phelps. so sweet. Homicide. You must be new. <laughs> What's your shoe size? Ah, uh, this is business, Florence. You got a guy works here by the name of Tiernan? Sure we do. He's a pin setter. Clears the jams, works the gutters. Go right in. He'll be hopping around the lanes toward the back. He's a nice boy. Thanks, ma'am. Let's go get him. She seems very sweet. She seems very sweet. Food wasn't great, but you're real nice. The el yeah, like elderly like alley. that, you gotta love him, man. You just gotta love him. Tiernan, LAPD. Okay, here we go. I should be like, I didn't know what you wanted. I, I, I panicked. That, I got a record. Like, bro, just calm down and just answer my questions. They always gotta run off. I'm so sick of this chasing there. this. And then it turns out that they were never guilty in the first place. And they're just like, what why are you waiting through for? All this Get shit, after man. him. We might go faster if we weren't carrying the extra weight. These are flashy cars to be parked outside a bowling alley. The lanes attract a fast living individual with money to burn, Cole. Or a middle aged individual with the need to feel virile. I'll try to oh, shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. Shoot his tires. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. Another runner. Well, at least we've got a suspect. Why do they always run? I'm sure we've got the wrong person in more than one of these homicides, but they always seem to lamb it. You know, your theories That's are not what I'm saying, Cole. by any means. Shoot, bro. Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. Hit it. Clean this asshole off the road. If this isn't the killer, we can at least get him for reckless endangerment. That's unless he runs into a wall and saves us all the trouble. Oh my God. He's going through the square. I hope the people see him in time to get out of the way. Now is not the time to play around, Phelps. Shoot him! What if I'm they like run right because there. someone's setting them up? Because they feel like mm. the deck is stacked against them. Eh, don't make up ridiculous stories for them, detective. Leave that to the perp's imagination. That is true. That's what I be Put thinking sometimes. Like, like sometimes they could be getting set up, man. Like that one time we found that box of clothes in that man's apartment. I, I don't think he did it. I, I honestly think he was set up that uh that case that time. Cole, we think alike, man. I swear. I say one thing and 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 you just say it right back, just in different words. Uh, let's go to the liquor store. Should I get involved, man? I mean, why not? We're here. Cop killer shot. Ooh. Yep, y'all definitely need my help. That alleyway leads to the rear of the building, sir. Someone's gonna have to climb up and take him down. Good luck. Don't let him get a beat on you like I did. Oh, you're just a rookie. I was about to shoot you. Are you down? Cop killers are the worst kind of stuff. Nope, 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 nope. Get your gun out. You can't look up. Oh my god. We could have easily just uh, shot his ass. Shouldn't have had that second lunch. You like killing cops? Oh my god. 
Bro, go down. Can't help console the officer's family, but these guys are done. <laughs> Cole seemed pissed. I would be too. Another one bites the dust. What the hell? What the what? Five out of fourteen street crimes, but I have no interest in these little side missions, bro. I'm here for the main story. Levine's liquor store, 12:44 p.m. I like how we're still within the hour of 12. Like since we've came across the body to up to where we are now at this liquor store. What can I do for you? LAPD, Phelps and Galloway. We're making inquiries into the murder of Evelyn Summers. Evelyn? She's dead? You knew Evelyn Summers, Mr. Robbins? Mm. Yes, I knew Evelyn. I was a good friend of her ex-husband. She kept some of her stuff here. Can you show us, please? Sure. Come this way. Got some fine stock here, Mr. Robbins. You know, you let us take some for the road, this case might get solved a lot quicker. He's joking, guy, Mr. Robbins. Um, she kept a bed here, but I probably shouldn't have let her. An alcoholic in a liquor store, that was never going to work out, was it? Mm -hmm. We'll take a look around. Interesting. She spent the, she spent nights here? Wow. She wasn't always such a loner. His friends. Now one told you that was gonna be Evelyn this way. <laughs> the only stupid thing about her was her need to drink. I can't open this. And she was borrowing books from Grobner McCaffrey. Wait, can I hold on? No, 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 no. Look at the page. Okay, you can. All right. Just walking on her bed. I'm guessing Evelyn hadn't held down a job for quite some time before she was killed. Mm. When exactly did Evelyn work in the pictures? A few years ago. Mm. She worked in legal copyrights okay. for music. Ooh la la! Why did it rise up like that? Like. Oh, oh. Rawlings Bowling Alley. Maybe Evelyn did something other than drink in her spare time. Ah, funny in her spare time. I see, I see you. I see. I see you, Cole. Very funny. Can't look at this. What is that right there? Okay, who's this? Sister, mother, cousin, aunt? Can't flip it around, huh? All right. I mean, that looks like it's 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 everything. Who's that? Who is that? Oh, that's you. Okay, liquor store owner and... Hold on, let me look at my evidence. Because there was a note. Do we have that note? Yep. Uh, Lipper half... Oh, upper half torn off. Part of torn... Okay, addressed to Evelyn. And this was about her having a drinking problem and wishing that she would check herself in into the help that she needs like a clinic or something okay movie at the job lipstick missing ring vagrants body show signs of vagrants lifestyle time of death they got the book 
inscribed woven in the cap of time amongst victim personal effects. Okay, that was a personal effects. Okay. I just want to make sure. We're trying to account for everyone's movements yesterday. She came by in the morning. A okay. social visit to pick up some of her things. She had a couple of bucks and bought a quart of rye. Why didn't you tell her no if you knew that she was alcoholic? Any idea where the money came from? She didn't mention it. But she did mm. say the booze was a present for a boy. Mm. She said they had been fighting and she had to make it up to him. Okay, relationship. Were you and Evelyn victim. close, Mr. Robin? Not many people will be sad she's gone. I'll be one of the few. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry for your loss. You seem very genuine. I got the impression genuine. that Evelyn had been sleeping rough of late. It became difficult for me to have her stay with her. Her mother was trying to get her back on the straight and narrow. She's old now. And to be honest, you have to have a good reason to want to get back on. Ooh. Knowledge of You know McCaffrey. a friend of Evelyn's by the name of McCaffrey? Not personally. He seems very she genuine. About McCaffrey. Supposedly, he fought in the International Brigade in Spain and in the miners' strikes back in Virginia. Thanks for your help, Mr. Yeah, I got it wrong. No problem. What the fuck? Hey, I'd like to make arrangements for the funeral. You think I could get in touch with Evelyn's mother? Put in a call to the watch commander at Central Station, Mr. Robbins. He'll be trying to reach the next of kin. Thanks. Get the guy, huh? Evelyn never hurt anybody. Oh, you're a great man. It said something about outfit? Hold on. I saw something that said outfit. I want to see what that's like. I want to see what it looked like, I mean. Can I see it now? Yep, okay. Where's the new one at? Oh, bro, that ain't nothing. That ain't shit. What I'm wearing right now is ten times more better. Central Police Station. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. The captain is downstairs with Ray Pinker and Carruthers. Carruthers? Hey. You think those vice boys get any on the guy? You got a stakeout down on second later tonight. Were you a bully on a Saturday? Hey! Fuck you! What the hell is going on? Oh, here he is. What's this about, Captain? Ray and Mal have some concerns over the Henry and Muller cases, which I don't want aired outside of this room. The evidence is solid, Captain. I agree, Rusty. It's just that corpses keep piling up. Copycats. I've been banging the same drum. Even if but it is, we gotta put it to rest, exists. man. Evelyn Summers, cartel classic Carmine. Each woman, same brand, same color. Teresa Tarleson didn't have a lipstick message. Technically, you're right, Rusty. She didn't have any lipstick, but she did have a message. We found it beneath right? her dress, scraped with a sharp. Bro, I kid you not, didn't I say that? Didn't I say just because she's clothed does not mean that there's no, that sh she couldn't possibly still been written on? What did it say? You sure you want to know, Ray? As far as we can be sure, it said cunt BD. That's one way of looking at it. Looking at what? Cunt is all about access, Phelps. You're married, so yours is mortgage. Some of us like to pay by installments. This guy doesn't like to pay at all. Why are you so angry, Mal? Because I just had to fire one of my assistants. He was a friend mm. of Jameson's. God knows what he might have been up to. Captain, we have good leads in the Summers case, but it's up to you to decide how we proceed. Keep this under your hat for now. And to follow up on Evelyn Summers, I want daily reports. Wait, what was... Okay, never mind. I was about to say, what was the message? But I remember he just said that. It was cunt BD. Uh, got our order. Got problem, Back to the Summers case. Get an address for McCaffrey. <laughs> we'll meet you outside. I 
think his name is Trey's Charles. address on um, Governor's McAfee movie. location, McAfee's apartment. And you ought to meet Joe's buddy. He's nice, really. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an address for a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Grosvenor McCaffrey. Apartment 6, 126 Yale Street, between Ord and Alpine. Thank you. All right, let's let's get to his uh, apartment. Here we are. The Caffey's apartment, 4.47 p.m. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 go back, go back, go back, go back. Okay, McAfee is on the- McAfee is in apartment six. Apartment six, I was about to say floor six. Apartment number six. So, three. It's all dark in here, or six is what, upstairs? Oh, five and six is this way. Okay. Seven. Eight. Wait, what? Oh, this way. Six. Okay, here we go. Doesn't look like anybody's home. So? Oh, all right. Always got to look at the kitchen first, see if we can grab like a little snack while we look around. What you looking at? What's this? What's this? Watch out. The last, what, Probably airbender? Not. What is this? The last bestion? <gasps> the other half of the letter. Why does he have this? Okay, uh, take long before you are healed and you can come home. I have put your things back into your old bedroom with a lock on the door for your privacy. And you can come and go as you please. I will care for you and you can return to your normal life. I know your address has changed, so I cannot sh sure this letter will find you. But I pray that it body. does and that you consider very what I said. I, I love you very much and I, and I pray every night that you are safe. And that one day you will knock on my door and 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 riff and niff and 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 sif i don't know between us will be mended okay he's talking about love with love and understanding your mother augusta summons oh we got to question the mother Not what is fundamentals is of right. critical theory is that it is that all we can look at? So, hold on. Okay, we're at whose apartment again? Gro gross of never Okay, oh, this guy. This guy. But, okay, okay. I need to start going back to these clues so I can, like, you know? Look at that, look at that, look at that. <gasps> oh my god. Focus. He said he was at home. He said he didn't know her. And we have the book. Let's see Carruthers argue his way out of this one. Is that you, Grosvenor? Who are you guys? What are you doing in here? We're from the LAPD, ma'am. Do you know where we might find McCaffrey? I'm his neighbor. Is he in trouble? Look, lady, we need to find him, and in a hurry. Are you going to give me trouble? He has a pigeon coop up on the roof. He spends his mornings up there when he's been drinking. How do we get up there? 
Down the hall and up the stairs. Drunk and in command of a carrier pigeon. Hmm. Surely we can write him up for that. A citation, at least. I want to look at everything. Junk. I want to know who's this boy that, uh, that the victim was talking about. She said it was a surprise when, when she bought that bottle of liquor, she said it was a surprise for a boy. I wonder if she was talking about this guy. Grosvenor McCaffrey. Running on a hangover. You want to throw one bird. And like, like what, bro? I'll go get our wheel. Come on, Cole. I know that shit burned. You a runner, McCaffrey? There he is. Stay and fight See the him? good fight. He's a runner, he's a track star. Where's my partner? Didn't he say he's gonna get the car? Hurry up and get the car, man. Where's my gun at? There he is, officer. I would have been shot him. Or at least shot his ankles, at least. Give it up, LAPD. Oh my god. There we go. There we go. There we go. McCaffrey. Hell yeah. You're under arrest on suspicion of murdering Evelyn Summers. Yep. Yep. We need to get downtown and wrap this thing up. It's got to be McCaffrey. Unless yep. Tyrannin set him up. I don't think mm. that asshole Jameson could have done it, do you? Yeah, whoever did it. Was that Dahlia? How do you know that McCaffrey didn't do the dog yet? We have a list of over 200 suspects. His name was never on it. If you think the list is exhaustive, Rusty, who am I to argue? Listen, let's just work the case at hand, shall we? Then we can sit down and put all the puzzle pieces together at a later date. I'll hold you to that. Central Police Station, 718 p.m. You sure you can make it stick with one of these suspects, gentlemen? It's either McCaffrey or Tiernan, sir. I think Jameson is an aberration. All right. Jameson is the weird guy that was kissing her, right? He's got I forget. some fearful retribution coming. Tiernan isn't one, McCaffrey isn't two. I want the confession from one of them. All right, I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try my best, sir. Hey, so Tiernan, Tiernan hey, is in one. Okay, let's, let's look at our evidence. Okay, first and foremost. Okay, Jameson is a weird guy. Yes, okay, so, he, so he's not in this. McAfee, okay. What we found on him, we found that he had the other piece of the note. He has a bloody shirt. He has a tire iron. What else? What else can we um, say about him? Um, he does have a record, so it's like that can play in a factor as well. Now, what about the other guy? Uh, what's his name? Tiernan. James Tiernan. This guy, he was found at the bowling alley. Um, he was a friend. We didn't really get to question him because he ran off and then we immediately put him behind the cop car. So we didn't really get any like connection with him other than they know of each other. I, d I still don't know who this boy that she was planning on giving this gift of a look or two, but it got to be either one of them. All right, so uh, I want to talk to Tiernan first because we didn't really. Is this him? Yes, okay, I want to talk to Why you. Why did you run, Tiernan? No. Yeah. I was the last one to see Evelyn that night. I knew you would think it was me. Can I okay, okay, okay. He was the last to see Evelyn last night. Wait, she said with victim, victim's book found. Victim book found. Victim's book found. What book? Hold on. Book? This book? 
in inscribed gov oh yes his okay okay yes okay 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 uh victim book for, uh, alibi for james turner access to murder weapon can you describe your relationship with evelyn i, I barely knew evelyn you're lying that's a doubt and it's like why were you meeting up with her sounds like half an answer to me Ternan. were you sleeping with her that's none of your business I got it wrong. It's not true. I know that. He, he do know her. The book that belonged to McCaffrey. McCaffrey saw her looking at her once and laughed in her face. And you're saying Evelyn stole it. She wanted something of his. We either hang this on you or McCaffrey. You better give us something. Well, McCaffrey's been in trouble with the law before. I mean, he always makes out it was some kind of labor dispute. But, you know, I'm, I'm not so sure. You and Evelyn were drinking together last night, and she had no other place to stay. I don't know what happened last night. I, I don't remember. You remember enough to run. If you don't give me some reason to think differently about this, Tiernan, I'm going to have to go to the DA. I drank half a bottle of scotch. I don't remember a goddamn thing. Isn't there anything else you can do? This is, th this is not going well. This is not going well. Do you well. own a car, Tiernan? No, I don't. Hmm. Have access to a lug wrench? No, we use a lot of them to clear jams in the pin setting machines. Are there matters we're not building in this city anymore? Evelyn was beaten to death with a lug wrench. We found the wrench at McCaffrey's apartment. You see? It was McCaffrey. He had nothing but hatred for me and Evelyn. Evelyn was missing a ring from her right hand. That's strange. She always wore it. A uh, big black circular disc with a white E in the middle. It was made from an old typewriter key, a present from the prop department at her old movie studio. We're going to talk to McCaffrey. You need to think about what you've told us, Tiernan. You're not in the clear. I want to make. I did terrible. I did terrible. Oh my God! Where's the other guy? You ready to answer some questions? You think I have all the answers? People oh my God! Who He's so calm. Have something to hide. Touche, detective. Let's see where this takes us. You told us you barely knew Evelyn Summers. She hung around sometimes. I had very little to do with her. Had very little to do with her. Doesn't look good, Grosvenor. It's either you or Tiernan from where we're sitting. Personally, I think Evelyn is better off. But I had nothing to do with it. What the hell? Evelyn died Gosh. sometime around midnight. Remind me, where were you? I was at home, writing. I'm working on a manuscript. You're going to need to do better if you don't want to swing for this. I was having a political meeting in my apartment. Cheese and crackers for the fifth columnist. Some of these people will corroborate your story. I won't give up names of party members. Good. Your funeral. It's either going to be you or Tiernan. Oh, my gosh. Make it stick, detective. The party has good lawyers. Bro, why are we talking about the freaking tire iron that we found in his apartment? The bloody shirt that ripped half of his note. Why, are, like, why aren't they questioning me about that? They asking me about alibi and, and, and his... Bro, this case is bogus. Shit pissing me off. Both of y'all stressing me the hell out. Who do I talk to? Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I, I help, Detective? You know you made it. I need the jacket on a Grosvenor McCaffrey. surveillance by the red squad convictions for petty theft dishonorable discharge from the army during training at syracuse assault on a local woman says he almost beat the woman to death 
Thanks. Almost. Wow. And what was the word he used for his criminal history? What was that word again? You were in the war? Yes, I was. Seeing the things that I saw, it changes a man. I came I back here does. determined to change things. Yep, man, you definitely did. All I wanted did. was a pen and an opportunity to speak out. You told us before that you had only minor run-ins with the police. Right? You didn't mention petty theft. I've never been in trouble for violence. That's the salient point here, isn't it? That is not true. Now, if I say it, it's a lie, okay, I'm about, I'm about to say, how can I, like, is it listed in my book that I can tie it with that? So I'm going to say lie. You're lying, McCaffrey. You have a history of violence towards women. How do you turn a couple parking tickets in a petty theft misdemeanor into an assault charge? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Stroll down, stroll down. We know all about you and your dishonorable discharge. Leading some poor woman near to death in Syracuse. You've never been in combat, McCaffrey. Your whole life is a fraud. She was a goddamn peasant whore. She tried to steal from my wallet. I could have fought for this country. I could have... You beat her because she stole from you. Because she tried to outsmart you. The ignorant audacity of the bitch. What is a man supposed to do? Sit there and take it? How is a man supposed to call himself a man? And Evelyn Summers, a poor, drunken nobody, stole your book. And she got what was coming to her! Motive. 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 It's him. It gotta be him. Grosvenor McCaffrey, I'm charging you with the murder of Evelyn Summers. She was a sad lady who never hurt anyone except herself. I hope God finds a way to forgive you. That's motive right there. And I know I'm right. Give me my promotion, Congratulations, boys. You bagged the fine catch. Another red Thank to boot. You. Grab. Thank you. Now, I want you to put this business about a repeat offender out of your mind. This McCaffrey creature shows no remorse, and neither will the grand jury. You would have to walk a long mile to find a better candidate for an unmarked plot in the prison graveyard. Thank you, sir. I've been pissed off. Yep. Let that anger use you. You let that anger use you, boy. Got you got your ass in trouble. Look at my questions correct, bro. Fuck this game. That wraps up with today's case, today's video, today's Eleanor episode. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna continue on recording today. I'm just gonna go out and I refuel myself, get something to eat, get something to drink, maybe take a walk outside, you know? And then we're going to come right back and we're going to continue on with this. But like always, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next video.